All right, thank you very much. Let's, the federal government has been grappling with budget deficits as a result of revenue shortfall in the country. Now, this has led to a series of borrowings from foreign countries uh, raising the country's debt level. Now, with the view to consolidating this macroeconomic effect and to help reduce budget deficits, President Muhammadu Buhari submitted a finance bill to the National Assembly to amend various tax laws in the country. The bill, which has now been passed into law by the uh, Senate, seeks to promote fiscal equity, reform domestic tax laws to align with global best practices, introduce tax incentives for investments in infrastructure and capital markets, supporting MSMEs as well as raising revenues for government. Before the finance bill was passed, companies are charged to tax at 30% on their dividend distributions, where such dividends exceed the taxable profits for the year, notwithstanding that profits being distributed may have been taxed in prior years, except from tax or taxed under a different tax law. Now that the finance bill, which has been receiving loads of support from the financial and economic sector, has been passed into law, how well would this tackle budget deficit in the country? Well, to answer this question and more, I have in the studio, she is a council member of the Chartered Institute of Taxation of Nigeria and a chartered tax practitioner, Dr. Uh, Titilayo. Any of Fuwoko. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. I thought I was able to get it. Yes, you <laughs> Good afternoon, I wasn't man. too sure you get the middle name. I was surprised. Yeah, it's great to have you on the Thank show. You. After the last time we were talking about your conference. Yeah. Now, 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 fine. we've seen what's been happening. Yeah. Government is running Helter Skelter to be able to address budget deficit and finance bill has come into this. Take us through what this really stands for. A lot of people have given us what it means, but for you, I think we'll get to really understand it better, what it stands for. Okay. Thank you, Tolu. Um, let me first start with the fact that the finance bill is like a normal thing we should be doing amendment of the okay. um, if, if I recall correctly, we have the finance bill was about 30 years ago. Wow. Uh, we are want to have a budget session, and it's coming out, you are getting the finance uh, business okay. and this comes out to amend the laws, the income tax act. And I remember in 1999 that we had the last set of finance bill that amended the company's income tax act. And, income tax act. and since then, everything has been so now another an amendment in 2011. So now finance bill that we now have, now comes into finance act, which is the first one in uh, that we run up to when we have this one up to the uh, national. Uh, we saw that now a change. Uh, we're going back to how it should be. Uh, the issues, the finance, he was able to, uh, be, uh, to align too many things. And actually, we did it. And things like um, the estimate tax address, commencement rules, cessation rules. So that we are now getting where to get back to where we should be and making the tax environment to be conducive for businesses and also for uh, the tax authorities to be able to get their, 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 their rights on, on the law. Uh, because um, whatever you talk about tax, you're not just talking about something that is hanging, it's based on a law. And if that law is not amended to face realities of today, then you're not going to be able to get the best of, of, mm. of that. So that's what's really happening. We're going back to the era of as we just come out, oh, you have a okay. finance bill that is addressing mm. those amendments of law that give us a budget. Mm. So you have the appropriation come in. Once the finance bill is made to the law, the budget comes out and it becomes what we are going to use for our expenditure and revenue. Mm. So the finance bill is supposed to go with that so that there can be an alignment in the expectation budget that's the revenue you expect going to fund. Mm. Uh, I, I can't say we fund everything. Nah. We, we are just moving out of the general culture of people wanting to say, what's in it for me? Why am I paying tax? But we, we just have to comply because there's a law. Now, you do your part by obeying the law, then you cannot ask government. I have done my part, True. then do your part. True. So True. when you talk about social contracts, fine, it's unwritten, but I know that there's a law that says I must pay my tax. I pay my tax as and when due. And I say there's a law, there's an expectation from the government also to make to my make business sure. environment True. conducive. For me to so do it should be going hand in hand that I'm doing my part and the government is also like, making me happy. Like someone would say, it should be a win-win situation. Yeah, it should be. It should be win-win. <laughs> no, no. Uh, so it's not like there's going to be one tax burden on us because we're always scared when we hear tax, when we hear tax. <laughs> yeah, no, no, <laughs> sincerely. Everybody's always like, mm -mm -mm. I don't. So it's not like there's going to be a tax burden because some have argued that there is this, there's a need to expand the tax net, mm. bring in, I think, the informal into the net so that we can get more money instead of maybe increasing. Because at the moment, my salary right. has not been increased, <laughs> so I don't want my tax to be increased. <laughs> yeah, I, I, um, the, the bill is not looking at increasing rates. Okay. Um, I, I can say that um, if you look at the finance act, it tries to make business conducive. Business. And 2020 finance bill is also what we're looking at because we, it, we're looking at 
So when you start inputting money to people and the economy is not that balanced, you money. But the new bill for 2020 is going to have a net. I'll give you an instance that we have a significant economic interest. We have a lot of businesses, they generate income from Nigeria and stuff. off. But we're, the law now amended to have a way of tracking people like that. And then I get to share of the tax. Nice. So once you get that, it comes to our net. Mm. Now, a lot, we have it to the company, which was only financed at 2019, which tracked significant economic presses for companies. And we're talking about, for individuals, significant interest. So if I get to Nigeria, and we can see that the condition that taxes holds you, and we'll share with that. And other things like um, the principle of tax regime. Informal says five percent of them. How we be able to get the tax net? It's very difficult. There should be a way of getting it. So you can actually go bill, apply the regime, and there must be a legal basis to apply that. Okay. So and that's trying to put the in place of how to be the informal sector and go inside the preserving tax regime. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the things that is have come up. And for individuals, well, I may not say entirely your tax may not go up. Well, let me not be too optimistic <laughs> on that. But uh, there's an amendment to the basis of your tax. Okay. If you're well, maybe if you're well paid and your income is that high, then <laughs> you may be having some some adjustment to your tax. Mm. It's not the rate, but yeah. it's just the base in which the tax will be applied. Mm. And that is redefinition of gross income for the purpose of consolidated relief allowance. Mm. So those are some of the highlights of what has come up. And things about stamp duty. Stamp duty, yeah. Finance Act 2019 brought in stamp duty. Now, everybody is now conscious of every agreement has to be stamped if it's stampable. Uh, if you have electronic agreements, electronic documents. So, so those are areas that government is seeking to see how they can deal with the revenue shortage and then see how the deficit can be addressed. And this is part of what the finance bill has put together. We're not really talking about the rates, but if we can widen the base, have more people, so it's easier than you putting burden on those who are already complying. Yeah. Because when you talk yeah. about rate increase, you are mean the people that are paying. For instance, employees are paying. Now you're giving more rates and then that means employees will be paying more. But what about those who are not yet in the net? So what this finance is trying to do is to say, let's bring, let's cast mm -hmm. our net wide, get more fishes into the net, and then let's start asking them to yeah, cough it out yeah. and cough out the taxes. Uh, <laughs> indeed, uh, I don't know, businesses for twenty five billion and below will not be paying tax. I even heard the vice president also saying that earlier in the week. Then some between twenty five million and one hundred million, the bill also proposes to reduce taxation for them. So in all of this, I think the business interest is kind of being protected here. Is this part of the ease of doing business uh, thing that we're looking at? Yes, yes. Um, let me say that um, uh, SMEs, yep. we need to encourage them. And these are the people affected by the amendment. Uh, 2019, we have what we call small, medium, large okay. classification of businesses. Okay. The small are 25 million and below. They have 0% income tax. tax. Now, the finance bill 2020, I'm not going to say, no income tax no for you. Because in the initial the 2019 Act, there was no mention of income tax, only income tax. Now you are going to have income tax, zero percent addition tax, that we are also excluded. Now you have the medium, the one percent, and then the large, and then on the thirty percent, which is still trying to ensure you are doing business, cuts across the SMEs, encourage them, get them to be up and running, to develop our economy. And well, when the economy is developed, they can employ more people. We get more pay taxes. So. DG talked or touched on something before he went uh, left uh, our first discussion, and uh, that came to me. We've always talked about tax to GDP ratio, mm -hmm. saying Nigeria is not doing very well. We are, I think, six percent uh, around that, and we've been trying to move ahead uh, from that. And many always, we we always have projections, just like gas flaring. Next year we'll stop flaring gas. Next year we're going to move the GDP of uh, our tax ratio to GDP. Why do we still over around this when countries around us are doing? better. I hear Ghana is doing uh, approximately 18 to 20. I'm not, I'm not very sure, but I know the figure is better than what we are doing here. Now, I, I, when the issue about tax to GDP ratio, we kept on talking of 6%, 6%. I want us to know that um, our tax paying culture in Nigeria is actually not mm, there. Mm, true, it's not there. True. Uh, what we are trying to do now is to start to encourage people to pay tax. A lot of people believe that, is it not Nigeria? You can go away. And a lot of things have to also do with the political will. Uh, you talk about Ghana. You, you don't do some things in Ghana and go scot free. <laughs> One today, and the government will ensure it's not. Some countries, we want even the weather. Tax of people are with them. And some countries, you just know, you know, you know it's dead now because mm. they are. It's a matter of uh, trying to get our people to appreciate the fact that you fulfill your part, pay your tax, and then you can't go back. The excuse is, uh, why am I paying tax? Government, my roads are not fixed. I don't have light. There's no this, there's no that. And that's coming to the social contract I was talking about. So why don't you, first of all, 
do what the law says, yeah. obey the law as True. a citizen, True. and then you can actually hold the government. Well, I, I used to refer to a way whereby you have your community development. How many of us have even started to hold our local government chairman? Uh, that's where we should start from. If I have a local government chairman that we voted in, and I pay a government chairman, how much tax have you paid? Give me your tax card. Let's say before you can go for the election, that will be the cost of taxpayer for uh, Because the tax should be seen as not for those who are paying, for even people who are this is how we can address the system GDP ratio. A lot of people know that. How do we bring them in? What the parents can do is bring more people. But I would say that if we can bring more people, we bring them in, they're more consistency, and they're more people to show leadership example. Mm. It's important. Because it's only that great people to want to say, okay, I can see my leader I should not be a bad follower. Let me also like I always tell the story of Lagos. Yes. Lagos, yes. I'm living in an SBA. I got through Lagos, giving SBA. I'm sorry. And I got to qualify because I'm five year tax clearance. So that is the argument that if every day is able to say, look, mm. people, we've done this. You, the condition is that you are paying regularly. Everyone that wants to benefit from the transparency in the business, mm. they will want to tackle it. And I know people that God is to do else this and to put up in their taxes because of the condition. Mm. So this is uh, GDP, uh, GDP to tax, we have to GDP ratio. Yes. For me, fine, it's low. We can do a lot to, to be up. increase wellness. People to be more I show accountability and responsibility. Yeah. So, okay, okay, fine. I've done my part, governor. But let me see what I do more. And this is synergy. Then we put in it. I will even have to pay your tax. Pay my government is doing, really. doing that for you. Yeah. So that's one one. And the more we are doing one, the system is going up. True. Uh, and True. And it's, going, it's going to get better. Now, it's, it's been a year of COVID. It's been a year of lockdown. It's been a year of entire protest. Uh, tax practitioners, everybody's been affected. Media has been affected. We all, we've been all been affected. So how's your, how has it been like? Tell us how practitioners, how are you faring as we mm. move on to 2021? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I would say that um, I've always said this, that we are in the new normal. Mm. When the issue came, it's for us to not accept. We can't go to the tax office. We have a coronavirus, but we should have to communicate. Might go switch to digital way. Oh, of the day. <laughs> and I started filing tax. I talked more than when I was physically in the office mm-hmm. because emails come. Your boss, you're, you're, you're on top of the game. The law has not changed. The are still there. Yeah. If, if you are palliative, you can return in June. You like got to file in August, September. But as those have been shifted, you don't want to hear the yeah. deadline because, yeah. because they are also trying to track their business. Yes. It's not on top of your game. So the thing for you to do is take the tax return. You say you can file online. Do if a Zoom meetings was just another way of life. You can be on one meeting on Zoom, another one on Microsoft Teams, and your ears are working with <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so the tax practitioner, we have to now start multitasking because you've got to be right on speed and respond to your client. Mm-hmm. So it was really a time for us to start looking at other areas. The normal, the conventional way of doing tax practice, move faster than you used to do before. FRS will tell you you can file your returns online, so you don't have excuse. Uh, well, you have to have more than one network. That, that's the, the big part of it. You may be on a call and the network goes. Yeah, so you must you be able to, to switch, switch immediately. Switch so you have like three. Three service providers going on and they're all on. And the IT guys are and making the IT their money. And the IT guys are making their money. Oh so I think COVID, for, for COVID has been a blessing to some people. Yes, true. Some told me, someone told me, I said, look, this COVID I sold more than I sold before as an SME. And some are saying, no, COVID is not good for me because yeah. I couldn't do my business. Yeah. So it's yeah. a mixed feeling. Mm-hmm. Uh, but for us, we have to change the way things. We have to mm-hmm. and then be up to speed with our hands. Uh, our online time activities have increased. Uh, we have to invite it because it's critical. Right we, we have to go back. We have to go back. Uh, uh, interesting it. conversation. Yeah. I let you go again. Uh, it's a few days to, to, to the new year. And a lot of Some are even saying, I know you are mm-hmm. financial experts are saying, Nigeria will move out of recession. Nigeria, things will get better. I don't know if you think, what role do you see taxation playing in our stability in 2021? Um, I, I, told, I always say this anytime we talk about things about taxation. I would say that the, the, the environment has created a lot of opportunity for tax practitioners. Mm. Um, and it's only practitioners that are on top of their game that will be able to take advantage. I don't see us going behind because a lot is happening in tax environment. Finance Act comes up. 2019, Finance Act 2020 2020. will now come up. Uh, We have things happening in the international tax environment. Uh, um, Transfer pricing is coming up. New things of doing things, new ways of doing things. Internationally, there are tax environment, there are tax palliative, there are this and that. And your client wants to be on top of this thing. So it's just for you to be ahead and say, hang on, look, this thing is coming up. You can take advantage of this. You can plan your tax plan. So I see 2021 to be a good year for tax practitioners who are on top of their game. They should be ahead. 
They should think ahead. They should think. I always tell people, don't just think outside the box. Think beyond the box. Beyond the box. <laughs> and yeah. then be able to be ahead of it. Indeed. Dr. Titi Layo, any of Okoamos. Thank you very much. She's a council member of the Chartered Tax Practitioner. From her, I don't need to tell you more. Thank you so much for spending your afternoon. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time, man. Thank you.